Hi there. So in this section we're going to just take another quick look at fasteners. We've already looked at them when we looked at the shaped nappies um, and I just wanted to discuss really a few of the advantages and disadvantages of the different fasteners. The first fastener that we looked at was the, the nappy nipper. Um, this can obviously also be used on terries um, and once they're folded you pop baby in the middle, fold it across, fo sorry, fold it up at the front, fold the sides across and pop your nipper over it. The advantages of the nipper are that you can create a really good snug fit with your nappy, whether it's a shaped nappy or an unshaped nappy. You can create a great fit and the snugger fitting your nappy is, the better it's going to fit inside the wrap, the better it's going to fit inside baby's clothes, um, but also the, the, the better the fit really, the more it's going to keep the moisture in. If you've got big gaping legs or if you've got sort of uh, fastens that aren't, aren't sitting very nice and tight at the tummy, that's when you're going to get bits of moisture coming out. So it's a really great um, little uh, item really for doing that. Um, the... For, for, for me personally, I found the nappy nipper very easy to use. Um, as I mentioned before, it's hard to show without something in the nappy. But all you do is you clip it on the side and then you pull it round and then you pull it down again. Now this really makes more of a meal of it than, than it should do because like I say, you need something in it to give it a good grip. Um, a lot of people are put off using the nappy nipper because they believe that it's more complicated than it looks. Um, the only other thing really that I would say is a downside of the nappy nipper is that you have to buy it as a separate um, uh, element to the nappy, but they're £3.50 or £3.75 for three, so it's not a huge investment. Um, and obviously the huge benefit of them, apart from the fitting, is that if you buy size 2 nappy nipper nappies, um, then you're going to be getting the extra use from folding your size 2s down to a size one to fit from birth to potty. So that's the advantages and, and very slight, I believe, disadvantages to the nipper. The second fastener is the popper, and I want to look at whether at the ins and outs of, of, of that. Again, with the popper, you've got the fact that a lot of nappies will fold down to fit um, a size one, even when it's a size two nappy in theory, and that's through that extra row of poppers that we looked at when we looked at shaped nappies. So they fold down there and then fasten across at the sides. Um, one of the advantages of the popper is that it's usually a very um, strong fit. Once you've popped it in, it's unlikely to really come apart. Although we, over, over, over use, as in over years, they do occasionally have some wear and tear and, and you do get a little bit of degradation in the performance. But it's really firmly on once it's on which is great when you get slightly older babies who maybe want to start pulling their clothes off as my daughter did around two, two and a half you'd go into her cot and she would have absolutely everything off including the nappy um, it's a really good secure fit and that's why a lot of people like it for me the perception is that poppers are simpler to use than the other systems but, but, but for me I really didn't find that I found they're ever so slightly fiddly to use um, but a lot of people find them very very easy um, and just to mention on that with the nipper again the nipper is a fastening that is very unlikely your child will be able to take off so that's another benefit to that the third and probably now most popular fastening on a nappy is applix applix is really simple it's velcro it's as simple as putting on a pair of velcro shoes or, or you know doing up anything that comes in velcro the disadvantage really to it is you can't fold your nappy down to make it into a two-piece system if you fold it down on the outside the uh, there's no velcro to fasten it onto if you did have velcro on the inside it would be against baby's tummy that strip would go against baby's tummy and if you fold the velcro down on the inside that's not against baby's tummy so there is no way of creating a size 2 nappy that will fit from birth to poverty in the velcro the other slight downside of velcro is that it degrades over time more than the other two and that's because when you wash them as as you'll probably know from using velcro and other things you do just get a slight softening of the um, the hook and loops which means that they stop being as sticky as they are when you first get them. Now there have been a lot of innovations in real nappies so that it's it's on the um, 
the rougher side of the Velcro that you get most of the degradation. And on, for instance, this tot spot snappy, the tab folds over like that, which means that when you put it in the wash, you don't get so much of the degradation. And the other option, obviously, is to just make sure that when you pop them in the wash, you close them, although that some people say that that reduces the um, cleaning properties of it. So those are basically your Velcro fastenings, and that's the three different fastenings that we have and the advantages and disadvantages.